Hey, I want to talk about a solution to something where I think a lot of you are not going to like this and you're going to say, well, that was a bit of a hack and a fix, wasn't it? But I think it's the simplest, easiest way to do something without any code whatsoever. And the method is so simple, you can go and start doing it right now. I'm talking about sliders, testimonial carousels, basically anywhere where you have a carousel and you want to show half a slide. What do I mean by that? Over here, we have a section with a column and we have a slide. I've got five testimonials in here and I'm just going to make sure it is definitely on five because I was messing around the screen. There we go. We've got five. But I only want to show the middle three properly and the ones on the end, the left and right ones right on the end. I want to have half the slide. Now, there are methods out there where you could use code and I definitely say go and look them up, work with them if they work with you. There was also a method that someone put up once where they said, all you've got to do is click on the testimonial carousel, go to advanced and start doing stuff like this. They said, what you do is uh, you do like a minus 20, say, and a minus 20 like that. Well, can you see it's applied it on the right hand side, but it's not doing the left. And in fact, it's not even consistent in how it works. So I think that those methods I found were a little bit hit and miss. So you got five you might not have five, you might have four, three, two, whatever. The, the idea is, is that is that we want the middle one to be clear and the ones on the end to be cut in half, right? The, the, the simplest solution, if your background is white, make sure you create a white image. It doesn't have to be a huge image, just a little image, right? If your background is black, create a black image. If your background is blue, create a blue image. Okay, so just think about the color of your background. I've got a white background, we'll stick to white. I'm going to go over here. And I'm now going to make sure that this section is a controlled width. I've gone for 1,200. Please have a think about what you're working with, okay? If you want to work with boxed width, sorry, not boxed width, full width, you can do, but you'll have less control over the method we're going to apply here. So a boxed width, you know, 500, 600, 1,200, 1,000, whatever you want to go for. It just works better. We're then going to go over here, and I am going to add a new column. I'm just going to pick this column up and move it over to the left hand side. Right. I've added in a column. I am then going to click this column and I'm going to say that this column, okay, is um, no more than 10% uh, of the, the box width. Now I know that this section is 1,200. Therefore, that um, column is now going to be 120 pixels. Hence why I'm saying if you set your boundaries in terms of the sizing, you know what you're playing with. When you go with full width, 10% could be that, that, that. It could be anything. But that is 120 pixel. Into there, I'm going to drop in a image like so. Again, this methodology that I'm showing you isn't always the best way to do things, but it really does work. I'm now going to click this image and I'm going to pick this white image here. This is like a little 500, roughly by 500, whatever. It's actually not 500, it's 600 by 500. I've just done a PNG. Normally you would do it properly, compress, WebP, all of that, and you get it in. So I'm just going to stick in a white image. That white image is only like uh, the top bit there. It's not filling up the entire height of that section. Don't worry about that. You go to style, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to double check the height of this, okay? And the height of this section is about, whoa, I'll tell you what, we'll just go with 250, no, 240. So I'm going to type 240 as the, uh, the height. As soon as that happens, just set it to be cover. You can go for fill, cover, content, whatever you want. But I just always like to go for cover. So that is 240. That is now over here. I'm then going to put a negative right margin. By putting in a negative right margin, I'm moving the inward, the inwards, I'm moving the image inwards. So when I start to do this, you're not going to see anything happening. In fact, what I'm going to do is just for the sake of what we're doing here, I'm just going to change this image just to be something completely different, just so you can see what's happening with it, right? There's the image. Now, as I start to move inwards, can you see what's happening? Can you see that? It's literally growing in effect. And if I now go to about there, in fact, we'll go for about 140. I've now moved my image inwards, right? Let's put that back to uh, the white image that we had before. 
Ignore the blue line there because it won't be there when you do that. But look, we now have half of that slide cut off. Right, let's now apply that to the other side as well. So I am going to duplicate that, okay, pick it up and move it over here. Now, as soon as we've done that, okay, everything has now gone a little bit weird, right? So I'm just going to go back over here and put that to be 10% and put this one to be 10% as well. So we've got 10%. That should be 80%. I mean, things never fully go correctly. It'll be like 79.4 or whatever, but that's roughly fine. 10%, 80%, 10%. The image in here, this side is currently pulling to the right. We actually need it to pull into the left. So we're gonna take this value, zero that back out, and I'm now gonna put that over here. And what's now happened is the, the image has now moved over to the left. It's always a good idea to test it by hitting preview. And what you'll now see is that it does look like there is more hidden on the left than the right. Don't be fooled by that because that's actually because of the way that the wording in the testimonial carousels are left aligned. So if I go back over here and just click on the testimonial and I set this to be center like that, that's now roughly even in terms, it's all down to the wording you've got in there, okay? But can you now see, we now have a testimonial carousel whereby I have half the slides hidden. So if you imagine you've got images, videos, or whatever, by you just having two columns with an image, and then you've, you've done a negative right margin on the left side, on the right side you've done a negative left, sorry, let me get it right. On the left side you do a negative right margin, on the right side you do a negative left margin, so you're coming inwards, that's how you could do it. Now, what are the negatives about this? Well, you've got two extra columns. You've gone and added in two more extra images just to create an overlap effect. Um, when you get to the mobile, I would strongly recommend that you would change your settings so that you only have one slide per view on the mobile. I would also say that this column, I would hide it. So I would say hide this on the mobile because you don't need to have that half effect on the mobile. It looks odd. I wouldn't do it. Desktop, you can get away with it. On the mobile, just have one slide, okay? You just slide. So that's how I would uh, rework it for the mobile, if that makes sense. But this is a, for me, a simple way of how you can get the half slide without using any code, just two extra columns, image, move it inwards, and away you go. Because uh, I know this gets asked a lot, and there's always loads of solutions. And I've seen plugins and people going, yeah, use this, use that. And I'm like, for something so simple, why should you have to install a plugin? Just almost in a way, hack it to work it. Hack it to work it, okay? That's my motto. Um, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I hope this inspires you to kind of just play around and get on with things. Take care, I'll see you soon.